Hey fams, my name is Jared Clago and today I'm going to be trying and eating McDonald's here in Spain. I've been here in Spain for more than a year now, but it's just my first time to be trying McDonald's here. I've tried KFC and Taco Bell here in Spain, but I've never had McDonald's. So I think this is such a perfect time to do this. So here are the things that I ordered in McDonald's Spain. I placed my McDonald's order via Uber Eats. I ordered a bucket of 10 chicken wings and 15 nuggets, a Happy Meal with croquetas de jamón and regular fries, of course, patatas bravas, one McFlurry Caja Roja, McShake no Silla, white and dark chocolate McPops, Deseo Ibérico, it's a Spanish ham sandwich, and pan de semillas con atún. And my total order costs 31 euros including delivery fee. There you have it. So let's start opening this up and let's start eating. So now it's eating time. <laughs> so if in the States they say I'm loving it, in the Philippines we say love kuto. Here in Spain we say me encanta. Or but they also say I'm loving it, but in Spanish, it's me encanta. I love it. I'll start with the this one. This one, it has jamón ibérico and tomatoes. Tomatoes, so um, jamón ibérico and jamón serrano are two of the most popular um, ham or jamón here in Spain. So this is jamón ibérico and let's give it a try. I think I like jamón ibérico more than jamón serrano. I've tasted jamón serrano and I don't like it. Oh, this is so... I love it. And the tomato thingy, like it's like a crash, crashed tomatoes. Ugh, it adds more flavor. But I want to have some ketchup. I love ketchup. Tomato ketchup to be specific. In the Philippines are ketchup. We have tomato ketchup, but we also have banana ketchup. That one is much more sweeter than the normal ketchup, but try it with ketchup. You know where it has tomatoes, but why not? Mmm. Kainana. Mmm. So you may think they don't have Big Mac here in Spain. No, they do have Big Mac, but I decided to order things that are very Spanish that you may not see in other countries. So if you go, for example, if you go to the Philippines, McDonald's in the Philippines, we serve rice and fried chicken. Really? <laughs> so here in McDonald's Spain, they don't serve rice dishes. They don't serve fried chicken, but they serve chicken burger, that one. So let me have a sip of this Fanta. <laughs> Let's move on. So I will finish this one later. So let me just wanna show you this one this is patatas bravas it is like the french fries of spain instead of cutting it lengthwise they cut it into wedges and then they have alioli alioli is mayonnaise and garlic and then this salsa this this red one is salsa brava it's like um, hot sauce and ketchup together mm, chalap chalap. Mm. i love it Mm. I wasn't thinking of buying this because I already have french fries here in the Happy Meal so I wanted to buy something else but anyway this is a Spanish dish so I said okay I'll buy it anyway Mmm, taste it! Mm, this I wanna finish, it's so good 
These are mangoes. So here in Spain, it's quite weird because in their menu they have cherries, mangoes, pineapple. So I ordered pineapple that comes with the Happy Meal. So let's open the Happy Meal. What does it have? Okay, so it has the regular the regular fries. They say this is the world's best fries. <laughs> Look at this. Um, I'd still go for patatas bravas because it won't get very sloppy like this. And second of all, it has uh, a spicy tomatoey, mayonnaise, garlicky sauce already on top. So it's just like okay, well I'll go this one for this one. So with the Happy Meal, I ordered croquetas because I saw that they also are serving croquetas in McDonald's. So I said, why not? So here are the croquetas. So croquetas are my most favorite tapas here in Spain. And I'm actually planning of making um, a croquetas food stall in the Philippines when I go back. But these ones are formed into a ball. A, a normal croqueta is like an oblong shaped. It's a little long, but we will give this a try later. Let me just, oh. So of course it's a happy meal, so they give out a gift. And this is what I got. Okay, now I have my first remembrance from McDonald's Spain. Why not? I think I know this character. Is this from the sausage party? No. <laughs> um, I don't know. Emoji? From the emoji movie? I think, no, it's from the Emoji Movie. I don't know. Please comment below if you know this cartoon character. So, love this. We will finish this one. Mm. And then this is their Mac Shake. I'm gonna, going to try it out as well. I don't know. I don't know if we have Mac Shake in the Philippines. No, we have Mac. We have Mac Flurry, of course. The one, I don't know, like we have the Royal in the Cola flavor, Mac. Freeze! In the Philippines, we have Mac Freeze. So here in Spain, they have Mac Shake. This one is a chocolate flavor milkshake, Mac Shake Nothia. No, no Nothia is a, a brand here in Spain, which is like the equivalent to Nutella. Uh. I'm already full. What else do we have? Okay, let me taste this one before we jump into this one. So this one is, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, pandesimia con atun. So that is grain grain bread. <laughs> I don't know, like like it's it's a bread with grains on top or cereals, and then it has atun. Atun is tuna. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's a little wet. I don't want to touch it. Okay, I don't want to... I don't know how to eat it. I'll eat it this way. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it has peppers. Orange peppers, red peppers, and yes, tuna. So... Mm. Set up! Mm. That first bite, I didn't taste any tuna. Probably the tuna is in the middle. Mm. 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 Right there. The tuna is canned tuna. And it has mayonnaise and peppers. It's not my most favorite, but it's good. It's good. It's really good. So let's put that aside and let's jump into the main event. <laughs> So this one, it has chicken wings and nuggets. I'm very excited. Oh my God, I, I was just craving for this last night. So I'm watching YouTube and there's like a way of how you eat um, chicken wings in the right way. So let me try that. Like you need to squeeze it, I think. And then you pull out the bones. But there are meat left. Oh, that's tasty. I don't know where to put this. And then we twist again. 
It's broken. I don't know where, where to twist it. But anyway. Sarap naman yan. I don't even want to swallow it. I want it. I want to taste it entirely and just on my tongue. That is. Oh my god! I don't know what they put on these alitas or chicken wings, but they're a little spicy. I don't know, like peppers or paprika. And it's really tasty. Oh, craving satisfied. Good job. Yay, you take the crown. Now, wait, I will use this one to put the bones. I'm sorry, I'm burping a lot. But when you burp in the Philippines, it means that you are saying thank you to the food. Thank you to the Lord for all these graces. That's how we do it in the Philippines. If you burp, it's okay because it's like you're saying thank you to the chef. Thank you to the Lord. Now, to complete my testing of this lovely bucket, let me have a taste of their nuggets. So, there's like an available nugget everywhere here in Spain. You can buy it in supermarkets and stuff. So, let me taste if it's different or it tastes better. Mm, mm, mm. It tastes like normal McNuggets, but it's very oily. Look at my lips. So this one is Mac Flurry here in Spain, but the flavor is Caja Roja. It's like a good birthday gift or a present to your loved ones because it has, this is like a big red box with different chocolates. So they put that all in here in Mac Flurry, I hope. And I'm really intrigued with this spoon. So it's a spoon and there's a hole here at the bottom and you can sip it here. So there are bits and pieces here. I don't wanna... Can you see it? I don't know, but I hope you do. And... Mmm! Sarapa! I miss ice cream. I cannot process this. This is so good, but... It wasn't mixed well as I was expecting it to be. Because when you order, like for example, you order, look. Because for example, you order a McFlurry Oreo, it's very well mixed. And this one, like I can still see like a big chunk of ice cream with no bits and pieces of the chocolate, but it's good. Mm. You just have to manually mix it. working <laughs> mm. so Rob this one this is mock pops so in here in Spain they have donuts they also serve donuts in McDonald's in the Philippines we don't have donuts but I don't know if in Mac Cafe in the Philippines if we do serve it but here they do so it looks like this like the ones that you buy from Dunkin' Donuts and it's frosted in powdered sugar and then in, I ordered white chocolate and dark chocolate let me just clear my throat palette cleanser ang sarap This will freaking kill me. <coughs> it's very thick. I love it. This one is the chocolate one. Mm. The feeling is very small, huh? But the taste, it's okay. It's a little greasy because, of course, these are fried donuts. But I work for three years in a donut shop, so to grade this compared to the ones that we were making, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's okay. It's not the best of the world, but it's okay. The chocolate though, oh, 
The chocolate is so amazing. It's pure chocolate. You can really taste that this is pure milk chocolate and the other one is pure white chocolate. I mean, there's no pure white chocolate, but I mean like a real chocolate. So amazing. <laughs> so I have different sauces here for the nuggets and the alitas. I have barbecue, creamy deluxe, salsa creamy deluxe, and agridulce. So this is the nugget. And dip it into bar in, a, in the barbecue sauce. Mmm, taste it. I like it. And I like it. I like it. <laughs> So this is barbecue and then let's do salsa creamy i'm just doing it with all nuggets the nugget tasted much better when i dipped it into these sauces because the nugget tasted very plain mm, chalap chalap. what's that it has an herb that i cannot distinguish it's also a little sour pro probably from the mayonnaise or if i don't know if this is this cream or mayonnaise i'm not sure it's like sour cream this is like sour cream but it's like very sour very sour cream <laughs> and this one is agri dulce dip it here ew that's a no-no that's i don't know i don't like it it's i don't like it like it has a distinct flavor it's sweet but i don't like it ew so just a little information about myself i am i'm not just a vlogger but i am a writer in the philippines i have written and published nine books in the philippines in total and um as you can see i love eating <laughs> and here in spain i am an auxiliar de conversación i am an english language assistant and very very soon i may be making a video on how to apply here in spain because i want to share the opportunity of how great this opportunity is for people and not just for people in the philippines or in the states or in uk but also it's a great advantage for the students here. English teachers here and the students here in Spain, they really need help um, to improve their English, especially the kids. And I believe that English is, uh, you're the queen, Miss Universe. I believe that English, <laughs> first of all, you need to love your own language. My own language is Filipino. At mahal na mahal ko ang, ling ang aking lingwahe na Filipino. Kaya, kaya ko magsalita ng Filipino, kaya, kaya ko magsalita ng Ingles. <laughs> Filipino naman talaga ako, hindi naman ako lumaki dito sa Espanya isang taon at mahigit parang ako dito. So I'm speaking in Filipino. I'm saying that I I have just been here in Spain for one and a half years. So it's not that I know Spanish. I, I don't I know Spanish, but I don't know like 100% of it. I do not speak Spanish in school. Most of the time I speak in English because, you know, that's my job to be speaking in English and to be um, teaching English to not just students, but also to the teachers. You know, a little by little. So in the Philippines, Filipino is our first language and our second language is English. I believe that English should just be like a secondary language for for all, for everyone. And also I know that English is very important because if you want to be globally prepared and also if you want to bring yourself out there and work abroad, English is very important because a lot of countries speak, a lot of people, a lot of people know how to speak English. So knowing um, this specific language is also good, but again, do not forget your roots. Don't forget your own language. So anyway, let's eat. Mm. Mm. There are a lot of less privileged people, mostly kids, and Throwing food is like a big no-no for me. Food is very important. I may not like these fries and these croquetas, but of course. I will be keeping these and I will be eating them later. Oh, I haven't eaten the mangoes. I will eat this um, as we end this video. So I will save these for later. That's why I do not understand. Like I watched, I watched a mukbang where they eat food and then they spit it out. I mean, like, what's the point of that? And also, 
there are also people who do mukbangs who would after they eat they would do this and then they would vomit everything they eat i mean what's the point of that that's why from now on if ever i will be doing a mukbang and i would definitely would have a lot of food on on, on the table if I won't be able to finish it, I will tell you guys. But of course, I will not throw it away. I will keep it and I may, and I will be eating it, I don't know, like after two hours. Because I get hungry really, really fast. So I will be eating it still. So I will just be keeping them. So this one, this one. So I just clean up a little because we will be ending this video very, very soon. So I'm just finishing my patatas bravas because amazing. Nom, nom, nom and some nuggets I still have a lot as you can see I'm not gonna lie it's like a lot of things I bought today but don't you worry don't you worry don't you worry now shut up <laughs> I will be eating this tonight or maybe even like for merienda for a snack <laughs> I'm set up. I am that person like for example you have something on a plate you need to finish it because i grew up like that my mother would feed us whatever we can eat that day and then there's a rule whatever is on your plate you need to finish it so i grew up like that up until now so i don't like wasting food if i can still eat it then why not so even these ones and the ones that i put on the side the fries um croquetas and the bread the sandwich i'll be eating it later This is like so good. It also, yeah, there, I tasted it now. A while ago, I wasn't able to taste it. That's why I was saying, it tastes like Milo. It's like a chocolate drink. But now I taste that nutty flavor. Like it has hazelnut because it's like the Nutella of Spain. So now I tasted it. So we will finish this day with some mangoes. So mangoes here in Spain, they're actually red, like red mangoes. So I've never had red mangoes anywhere in the world. In the Philippines, we have the sweetest mangoes in the entire world. Really, I'm not joking. You can even check it online. Type the world's sweetest mangoes and the Philippines would come up because we do have like the sweetest mangoes in the entire world. And our mangoes are yellow, yellow, very yellow. So this one is the red mangoes. It's not red, of course, but the covering of the covering, <laughs> the peel is red. It doesn't smell sweet. It smells like like a jello. Oh my god. I do not like that. It's very It's like eating a peach or I don't know, it's very firm cuz the mango in the Philippines is very soft. Yeah. It's like I'm eating an apple. And it's sour. It doesn't taste sweet at all. That is an amazing meal! Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video because I did. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what else you want me to do. You may want me to do a challenge video or another mukbang or a food travel video, I don't know, you see it in the comments, okay? And also subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Jared Clago. Thank you so much for watching, bye.